introducing Devika and Open Devin, so both of these GitHub projects are pretty much like clones of the AI software engineer we saw a few weeks ago called Devin AI. They are capable of performing source coding, going online to conduct coding research, examining and debugging any programming language or source code. They can handle all the technical aspects of software engineering. Recently, the Devika project was released on github.com. Obviously, this project was developed in a rush to make it happen within a short time frame. Despite the limited development time, it has successfully achieved a similar level of functionality as the official Devon AI. There are already numerous AI videos discussing this online, so I won't go through the setup process and how to install it on your local machines. If you are familiar with AI, you should know how to use command prompts and copy-paste the necessary commands for installation. However, I have prepared command prompt scripts using Olama as the large language model backbone for these AI agents. You can download the scripts from the link provided in the video description. Simply copy and paste each line in the command prompt to set it up effortlessly. The examples command prompt is available but it doesn't provide detailed instructions on setting up virtual environments and managing dependencies. It's safer to use Conda to create a virtual environment, ensuring that all the components are separated from your main operating system setup. Now, let's move on to the demos which are more important. Here we have a step-by-step -step plan created by the AI agents in Devika. As users, we input a simple text prompt or sentence to instruct the AI agents on what to do. Once they receive the command, Devika starts crawling the internet. For example, on the right side, it utilizes individual web browsers to search the internet and find information about the game. It analyzes the steps required to execute the game and create games using the game environments. Devika goes through the game's documentation, learns the coding rules and logic of the games, and then renders the Python code in real time. In the lower right corner, you can see the coding progress displaying the AI agent's work on game logics and rules. Devika learns by itself, creating game rules and different logics. It reports its progress after searching the web, conducting research on the games, setting up game rules, and importing libraries from Pygame. Finally, it automatically executes the code, similar to the original Devon AI we saw online. One interesting feature is the ability to select different large language models. In the top corner, there is a drop-down menu showing it currently uses the Claude 3 Haiku model. In my case, I have set up another script using Olama and the Devika clone on my local machine through the GitHub links. I've also set up Conda environments and activated them. After that, I installed the required dependencies from the Devika GitHub project. Once that is done, I navigate to the UI subfolder of Devika. Within the subfolder, I need to set up the bun sh library, which is built on top of JavaScript. For Windows, I use the PowerShell command line to install bun sh in the UI subfolder. For Mac, Linux, and WSL, I use the crawl URL command to obtain the bun sh installation. After that, I run the bund run dev command prompt to execute and build the UI of the UI GitHub project. After completing these steps, I go back one subfolder to Devika's main folder and run Devika itself using Python. Then I can start using the web UI, which will resemble what we saw earlier. In conclusion, should we use AI software engineers like Devika for software development? Well, if the language models such as GPT-5 or other advanced models improve significantly, I would consider using them for software development. However, the current models on the market, like Claude 3, GPT-4, Olama, Yama 2, Mistral, and other coder language models, are not yet in an advanced stage of AI development. We may need to wait for AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, to see more intelligent and comprehensive AI systems for creating programs and software. For now, these AI agents are suitable for building software prototypes, conducting quick demos, or proving concepts.
they can help us explore the possibilities of software development in a controlled environment. However, I do not recommend using these AI agents to create production-ready software for distribution or commercial purposes. It's important to consider their limitations. That concludes my thoughts on these AI agents. I'll see you guys in the next videos. Have a great day. See ya.